there, my name is Kathy Hansen, and I am the artist for General Pencil Company. Most of the uh, lettering now has a fun, warm, colorful background behind it. Uh, General's watercolor pencils, their Kimberly watercolor pencils are the per perfect fit for lettering for several reasons. One, they're a true watercolor, and what I mean by that is they're semi-transparent. Uh, not all watercolor pencils can say they are. What that means is you can make them light or dark just by how much you layer. You don't press harder, you layer. And when water activates the pigments, the white of the paper still filters through. And that's what gives it that true watercolor freshness. So there's a light version. This one I layered more on. Look at that gorgeous pigment. And even though it's a lot darker, you can still see the white of the paper filtering through. So it just emulates that feeling of freshness. There are several ways to work with watercolor pencils. You can draw and wet just like I did. If you get the draw and wet effect for your background, it's going to look a little more texturized. You're going to notice I am making it a little darker in some areas and I'm utilizing the white of the paper too because I'll automatically get three values right off the bat which is going to make it more interesting. Then I'm going to activate it. Areas I want the lightest I wet first and if I want all the colors to dissolve I just continue to roll the brush over the pigment. If you want to leave a little texture then you get in and get out a little bit. You see how some of those lines I'll pull out. Some of those lines are still obvious, so you have that option too. Lettering usually doesn't fill the whole background, they give a small area. If you like a distinct edge, just leave it alone, let it dry. But if you want it to wick out and have that soft area effect while it's still wet, just hit that outer edge with additional clean water. And the water's going to do all the work for you, it's going to soften it right out for you. The project I'm going to show you today, it's very soft and airy. How you get that effect is by putting pigment down on wet paper. And I just showed you if you draw on wet paper, you're going to get bold lines. So the way you can uh, make that still happen is make a paper palette for yourself. All I did, I took my pencils and I just drew pigment down on the paper. I now, it's just like instead of squeezing it out of a tube, I just took it right off that pencil core. So now I'm going to pre-wet my background. And again, don't overthink this one. Get it wet. You do not have to try to mix the colors if you are doing more than one color. The water will do the mixing for you. So get it nice and wet. Activate some color. I'm going to make this area a little lighter. Stroke it on. See how soft I made that? I'm going to grab another color see me activating a little bit of the green. I'm going to lay that in in a few spots too. This is what I mean by anyone can do this. Artists of any age and ability. Then we're going to let this blow dry if we want it solid. If you look closely on this one, I got thin white lines going through some of the letters. How I did that was while it was still wet, I took all the water out of my brush, made it almost like a sponge, and now I'm going to lay it down, and it's just going to lift that small little line, take that pigment out again, take the pigment out again. That's all you do. And then you hit it with a blow dryer or a heat gun for just a few seconds, or you can let it air dry, and while it's air drying, you can practice your lettering, which I'm going to show you right now. So. For our fun little joy, this action, this one was actually done just with the layout pencil. What I basically did is I gave myself a nice broad line on the top, brought it down soft, big squiggle, brought another one down to meet it about to there. For my O, this one I kind of did in the center to allow room for a nice little flourish on the bottom. And then this was my Y. Now, I could leave it like that. I could even come in, do some fun little patching. 
I can turn around and make it darker on one edge, which will give it a little more of a 3D effect. This pencil will work on all surfaces. And then maybe I'm going to darken it. Maybe I'll leave the inside lines there light and the outside dark. By using more than one value in an area, it gives it more interest and dimension. Okay. So this would be like my practice one. On my practice one, I might even say, oh gee, I wish it had a little more of a painterly effect. What's one of the wonderful things about the Sketch Morse pencil is I can put this over regular graphite. It's not going to move the previous. So let's say we wanted a little more of a wash. I'm going to just darken it in this little area right here. If I need to erase it all, I would use my BM2 Eraser General Carries, my Factus, or I have the option of my ES20 Extra Soft White Vinyl Eraser, which is a must when you're working on uh, papers with fibers like watercolor. Okay? So now I've got a little bit of that down. I'm going to take my brush, switch to a round. If I want the color to go all the way across the letter, I will just turn around and just wet the whole thing. If I want it lighter on one end, I wet the light end first. And then when I get this wet, when it meets up with the water, it is going to effortlessly melt out for you and create that additional texture. Here it is with all those fun lines on it. I am going to go straight to my layout. I don't need that 2H anymore because I feel pretty confident in this. I like this side better to start, so I'm going to do my J. I'm going to do my O. And I'm going to do my Y. And again, there is no right or wrong to doing this. Now I'm going to turn around and get a little more depth in it. So I'm going to just go back with that layout, a little bit darker in a few spots. And for all I know, I'm going to switch this up a little bit. Now I'm going to come back with my sketch wash. So I'm going to draw, actually I'm going to make this even wider. I love that I have that option. Now, because I want to leave it lighter here, I'm wetting the area I want to be light first. And now I'm just going to wet this and I'm just going to let the water take over. Another thing I can do is on my paper palette, make a palette of the sketch and wash too. That is another way. I don't. Know, you're not limited to drawing and wetting. You literally can paint some of these darker values on too, if you want. And if you wanted to, you could even bring color in at the last minute to this too, if you want. Because what's really cool about the Sketch and Watch pencil is once it dries, it's permanent. It will not reactivate. So if you want to add color embellishment on top of it, you can. There we go.